Multifunctional phone cases are in right now. You know, the ones where, as well as providing protection, they have another alluring factor. This one that fits the iPhone 13 Pro, as well as other phones which I'll talk about in a bit, is a shockproof case, and its extra factor is that it has a stand. This one is from Dobbs X, and is available in five colors. I've got the silver and the black one here, but it also comes in blue, pink, and red. And you can get versions of these cases for every iPhone 12, 13, and 14 regular size, max size or plus size, but not the mini. Thanks to Dobbs X for providing this case for me to review, it's greatly appreciated. Before we have a look at the X Factor and that kickstand, let's look at the rest of the case. You're getting that familiar TPU frame and the rigid transparent polycarbonate back on this case, which if you do try and bend and twist it, there's a bit of flexibility, but I've tried a few cases recently and there's definitely a lot more give in those ones compared to this one, and it's all thanks to that polycarbonate back sheet. The soft TPU frame has those space guarded corners that aid in drop protection while giving the screen a raised edge of 1.2 millimeters. While holding the iPhone in the case I have quite clammy hands at times and I'm often forever leaving fingerprints on frames of other cases that I've got but I've noticed that there isn't any fingerprints on this frame itself but the polycarbonate on the back is a different story but nothing that a wipe over won't clear. There are some more harder components to this case when comparing it to similar cases, which some people will like and others may not, but where on some cases everything about the case is either made out of that polycarbonate or made out of the TPU material, this has an aluminium alloy frame around the area which houses the camera lens to protect it from scratches and giving it a raised edge of 1.7 millimeters. Adding to that better looking aesthetic, the buttons are independent from the case and also made out of an aluminium alloy, same as the lens frame, giving that better feeling when you're pressing the volume buttons or the standby button itself. While some TPU buttons on other cases can be stiff, hard to press, and don't feel right, the buttons on this feel as almost as if you're pressing the iPhone's own buttons. Onto the metal kickstand, which is nicely designed and presented in both of the colors that I have here. With the stand fully out, which is actually further than most other cases with stands, giving a stand angle of about 75 degrees, allowing you to have your phone in a more upright position in the portrait orientation, and also in landscape orientation in this position, compared to other cases like this that only give a stand angle of around 60 degrees. In the reversed second landscape orientation position, where the weight of the phone rests on the weight of the stand, and relies on that rigidness of the hinge, which is actually quite strong, the phone is supported in positions from its maximum all the way up to the top, all the way to about there. Which means in either of the three positions, propping up your phone is going to allow you to watch videos, make calls, read, game, watch movies, or whatever you want to do in portrait or landscape orientation, hands-free, without the fear of your phone falling or rolling back. I've had this case on my iPhone 13 Pro now for a few days now. I haven't actually decided whether I prefer the silver one or the black one yet, but it's nice to hold. I mean, I've used grippier cases, but you adjust to the case that you're using. I've got used to holding silicon cases, but coming back to a case like this leaves less fingerprints on the visible parts of the phone, allows you to actually see the color of your phone with that transparent back, and it has a practical function with the stand. It's also nice to have that feel of more natural feeling buttons that are effortless to press and it actually just feels like there's no case on this phone. While it still allows you to charge wirelessly on a flat charging pad, you're unable to utilize the MagSafe credentials of your phone while it's in this case. So if you use an upright charger or any upright MagSafe compatible accessories like battery packs or wallets, you won't be able to use those unless you take your phone out of the case. As long as you're not reliant on those attachable accessories and you're looking for a practical case that not only protects your phone from drops and scratches, but stands up for itself more than the rest, then why not give this case a try? It's also a really good value as well. I'll leave a link to this case in the description below. Thanks again to Dobbs X for providing these two cases. Thanks for watching, press the like button and think about subscribing to the channel if you already haven't. And I'll see you in the next one.